Is real estate crowdfunding a good investment? Well, I'm sure you heard of crowdfunding and it is the new and easy way to invest in real estate. And I'll be very honest, this is the great way for new investors, unaccredited investors, normal people to start investing in real estate by pooling their money together, buying real estate and then splitting the profits. It's amazing if you get the right real estate crowdfund. And I'm gonna tell you how to know if it's a good investment or if it's not. Let's go. I'm gonna share with you a simple formula that anyone can do to look at and analyze a real estate crowdfund and determine if it's a good investment or not. Very simple. I'm gonna share with you my super secret insider tip on how I discovered how you can make double with a real estate crowdfund than other real estate crowdfunds that exist. And then last but not least, I'm gonna share with you a hidden gem in real estate crowdfunding that most people don't even know about. I'm gonna tell you all about it and give you some special bonuses that are not available anywhere else. So let's talk about all of the benefits of real estate investing because this is what you're going for when we are talking about real estate and when we are talking about real estate crowdfunding. You have to be in it for the real estate investing and the profits. So when it comes to real estate investing, there's three major ways that people make money and three things that you're gonna to wanna to kind of focus on. The first one, of course, is passive income. So you wanna create rental properties that are creating income each month and creating cash flow as an investor, that's super important. So cash flow and income coming in each month is the first goal. The second goal with real estate investing that you really gotta look out for is buying properties that are going to appreciate in value. So when you start investing in real estate, of course you watch those TV shows, HGTV and all the other stuff, fix this, flip that, we already know. And everybody wants to fix and flip houses and then sell them for a profit. But one of the things that is missing from that formula, of course, is if you kept some of those properties, kept them for a little bit, and then let them increase in value. That's called appreciation. So you have normal appreciation where you just buy real estate and usually, generally speaking, over time that property will increase in value. That's one of the things that you wanna look for when it comes to real estate investing finding properties that are going to increase in value and have good appreciation. And then last but not least is that thing that I just said, forced appreciation. So one of the things when you're watching those television shows and you're seeing what they're doing, that is a concept in real estate called forced appreciation. And that is where you literally go into the property, you improve the property, you do new flooring or new kitchens, or you update the property in many ways in an effort to increase the value, okay? So fixing and flipping for a profit or forced appreciation. Those are the three major things that you wanna accomplish with your real estate investing. And that's true whether we're talking about residential or commercial real estate. In any case, those are pretty much the three things that you're going to do to make money. So now let's talk about how you crowdfund real estate to make money because this is the new awesome thing to do. So we're talking about real estate crowdfunding. This is not your grandfather's crowdfund. So back in the day when we first wanted to invest in real estate and we were trying to pool together unaccredited investors, it was kind of difficult. You had to go to your family, your friends or coworkers, and you kind of had to give some presentations to see if this was something that they wanted to do and pool the money together. Sometimes people would take money out of their IRAs or out of their 401ks or money that they had in savings, they would all pool their money together and probably buy some rental properties or buy some properties to fix and flip, okay? So that is the old way of doing it. Now we have a better way to do it because these are now governed and regulated through the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC. So if you go to sites like True Crowd or if you look into my company, New Res, N-U-U-R-E-Z, we are governed through the SEC, we're a regulation crowd fund. And so it means I have been vetted, our company has been vetted, the, the, the project and the plan that we were offering to our investors has been vetted. And we have a process to make sure that people can put in just as little as $500. We all pool our money together. Again, unaccredited investors, those are people that you know don't make over $250,000 a year or don't have over a million dollars. They are considered unaccredited investors. So again, most people are able to pull their money together, put them into this fund, and then we can buy properties and split the profits with our investors. It is an amazing thing to do and it's something that anyone can do. So long as you don't necessarily have like a criminal background or if you haven't done anything crazy, usually you can get approved for a real estate crowdfund 
and start to do the same thing. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check out NuRez, N-U-U-R-E-Z.com. That's our company and we have a crowdfund and you can learn all about what we're doing. You can copy it or you can invest in it. I don't care either way. It's open and available for you to learn. So now let's talk about how you know if it's a good investment or not. So one of the things that I made sure that I wanted to do in creating our crowdfund is I looked at other people's crowdfund, okay? This is not just something Noelle went out and nilly willy did. Additionally, I had already been kind of crowdfunding on my own with my students by doing joint ventures, okay? We basically were doing joint ventures on every single deal. If they brought me a property and they wanted to partner on it, we would write up a contract and I would put my money in, they would put their expertise in or they would find the properties or whatever it is that we decided, we would do them one by one. But with the crowdfund, what I was able to do was take my most profitable thing, the most profitable thing that I do in real estate, which is short-term rentals and getting some apartment buildings and owning multiple buildings with multiple units in it and then diversifying the tenants in there. Again, not gonna nerd out on you too much, but it was my most profitable thing. And so that is what I decided to do with our crowdfund. I wanted regular people, you know, average Joes, people that worked, you know, normal jobs that were being, you know, left behind in real estate. I wanted it to be where almost anyone with $500 could come in, put their money in and then start making money. I wanted people to learn about real estate and see the type of properties that we were buying, see how much we were paying for them, see how profitable they were and then grow their own personal wealth together. This way we could help each other, we could help the community and we could really build something strong. And then the plan with New Res is to go public, okay? So again, when you are looking at an investment or you're looking at a crowdfund, you need to look at how they are paying the investors. For example, ours pays out every three months. You wanna see what the expected return on investment it is. Our expected return on investment is 20 to 30%, okay? That's much higher than most other people's, but that was because I took the most profitable thing that I was doing in real estate and I just scaled it. I already had lots of Airbnbs. I already knew the money that could be made. I knew if I had a million dollars just from unaccredited investors, I could turn that into millions. So again, start to think about what it is that you're going to do with the money and if this is a good investment as an investor. Another thing that you want to look at that I gave people was different ways to make money. So of course, like I said, if you invest in our fund, we have quarterly distributions. You can invest as little as $500 and start to get quarterly uh, distributions based on the profits from the properties. But another way that you can make money with New Res is you can submit properties to us. All of our investors can submit properties throughout the United States and in the Caribbean. And we've literally already had investors get thousands of dollars for referring us properties. Okay. That's another way. Then another way we gave, because it doesn't stop there. I was just trying to think of as many ways to make money with my crowdfund and this is what you're going to have to do with yours i also pay our investors for referring other investors to us so again i know i'm on the up and up i know this is regulated through the securities and exchange commissions i know what we're doing with the money i know how profitable this is so i felt very comfortable to say hey tell other people about this so that they can make money too and we could take the company public a lot faster. So that was my goal with our crowdfund for real estate. We bought some great properties. We're focusing right now heavily in Florida, Georgia, Texas, but we have investors bringing us properties from all over the United States and we are growing like crazy. So this is the same opportunity that you have. You can, again, either go to newres.com, go to the invest tab and see how to invest, or you could literally see what we're doing and copy it for yourself and do the same thing. Either way, it's a win-win for the community. Okay, so I have now told you everything. I spilled all the beans, everything that I have done, every single tip, everything. And I have one more last bonus for you guys. All of our investors now get either free nights at our properties or they get highly discounted rates at our properties. We have properties in Clearwater, we have properties in Orlando, we have properties coming online in Miami, Atlanta, Charlotte, and again, all major cities in the United States. The company is growing like crazy. And so our investors are basically able to travel for free to some of those places and you can do that same thing. I hadn't shared that anywhere else, but again, that's just another bonus that you can do with your crowdfund or if you invest in ours, I kindly encourage you to go ahead and go to newrez.com. That's N-U-U-R-E-Z.com. Go to the invest tab and for as little as $500, check out what we're doing, read through all of our stuff and you can start doing the exact same thing. This is Noelle, to your success. Yay!